In the aftermath, the dust will settle into new places on the surface of a world forever changed. And we who remain will gather what is misplaced, we will mend what is broken and make our peace with what is lost. Beyond language already stretched to its limits, beyond our facts and figures bent to breaking, we will find each other. And the truth of our connected lives we will know without question that the suffering of one is the suffering of all. When the roar of a ruthless storm turns into the silence of a world in mourning, let us hold this stillness as an offering as a gift. When we are brought to our knees, let it be at the feet of our women, let it be at the feet of our elders, let it be at the feet of our children, their wisdom as ageless as time. Their stories are the bridge between what was and what could be. Who amongst us is silenced and unseen? Let them show us new ways of being, new ways of building. Let them show us how courage moves in a world that is always raging, how willing hands transform crumbs into lifelines that reach into our communities. Now, when we are called to reimagine, let us build up and around with the truth at the center. When the people speak, their voices ringing out from every corner of the world demanding change. Let us lay down everything we thought we knew. Let's start again, this time together. When the world unravels before you, when even your dreams are crumbling stones, when everything you dare to touch is set on fire and all around you is ash and smoke, remember this, rock bottom is a perfect place for rebuilding. Remember that you are your mother's daughter, your grandmother's answered prayers, a whole bloodline of women who bend in response to raging winds, there is nothing broken here. Nothing damaged or discarded. Each scar is a badge of honor, every misstep, a victory dance waiting to happen. You are a woman becoming, learning the complicated language of forgiveness, the intricate lessons of the universe. Your heart is just a muscle and it needs exercise. You were born for this sort of heavy lifting. You were born one part saint, one part warrior woman. Loving yourself without shame is the most important thing you will ever have to fight for.
The woman is not your mother, is not mammy or wet nurse, is not a place to cut your teeth, to milk the marrow from bone, to suckle until sagging. The woman is not your training wheel, is not the leather and lust of your first car, some boys will be boy story, something hot you swallow to put hair on your chest. The woman is not your rite of passage, is not some river you cross to prove yourself carrying all of your baggage on your head. The woman is not a dumping ground, is not the junkyard scrap you drag home to fix. The woman is not your project, is not your problem. She is not an exercise in patience. The woman is not a game of chance. She is not a choice at the crossroads of your life. The woman is not your trophy or reward. The woman is not your god, is not your savior or salvation, some name you call upon like a prayer. She is not proof of your piety. She is not penance for the sins of your father. The woman is not a sin. She is not yours. She is not waiting for permission or validation. She is not ducking beneath her hurts. She is not afraid of her lonely or alone. She is not afraid to heal or be healed. The woman is busy, elbow deep in the work of becoming whole and unto herself. She is in conversations with God, trying to understand the blueprint of becoming. The woman is making magic from scraps of nothing. The woman is busy. She is working. And if she finds you working too, she might just let you love her. <laughs>